Happy Friday, everybody. I'm back again with another list of my reads for this coming weekend, my Friday reads. I thought I'd recap my last weekend's plans and how I succeeded or did not succeed and then go on to what I'm going to read this week. I did get to finish The Silver on the Tree, which is the last book in the Dark is Rising sequence. It was just as good as I sort of remembered. And I will be making a video about that probably. I'll probably film that tomorrow. I got into a little bit of Wonder Girl about Babe Diedrichsen's Harrius, um, but only about 15 pages. Well, that's not bad, especially since I thought I wouldn't get any chance to read because I'd be spending so much time with my family. But I was able to make both work, so that was wonderful. This week, sorry for the shaky cam, this week my Friday reads are... I am going to keep reading Wonder Girl because I've got to get that done for my book club in a couple weeks. I have about 10 minutes left of this really awesome book called Mr. Churchill's Secretary by Susan uh, Elia. Oh man, I just forgot your name. I'll put it down here. Uh, and uh, Which is a World War II spy um, kind of mystery, which I'm really enjoying. I... I'm Twitter friends with the writer on Twitter and I am, yeah, there's so much about this book and I'll talk about that later and probably in another episode because I don't want to give anything away. So I'll have to work on what my review of that would be to be non-spoilery. Uh, and I, I'm going to keep reading Wonder Girl, I said. And then also I am about three fourths of the way through with Beautiful Music for Ugly Children. Beautiful Music for Ugly Children by Kirsten Cron Mills. This won the Stonewall, Stonewall Book Award. And it's about a young trans man named Gabe who is trying to find acceptance in his family and his social life. And he's also uh, fulfilling his dreams of becoming a radio DJ. He's obsessed with music. And his best friends are his best friend from childhood, Paige, and also the older man next door who's just as musically obsessed as he is. It's so good. I love the writing. I love anything with a lot of music in it and like musical references. So this is right up my alley. And um, yeah, I, I had to leave the house on Wednesday and I was reading it and I was really annoyed about it. So I started a new hashtag on Twitter and if you want to use this, feel free. But it is hashtag, I put down my book for this. So it's kind of like the, I shave my legs for this kind of thing. Like, why? This was not worth leaving my book to come and attend. So if you ever feel that way, please use that on Twitter. Um, oh, and I'm still always in the process, I feel, of rereading The Hound of the Baskervilles because the what I'm writing right now is based on that. So I, I'm rereading it as I'm writing it to kind of keep in the theme and, you know, keep along with the plot and stuff like that. So... I think that's all I've got for my Friday reads. I'm going to do some painting. I'm going to hopefully do some writing. I'm going to go see a play and a musical. I'm going to go do something called Escape the Room, which will be fun. My friends. Yeah. So that's it for me for Friday reads. Uh, if you have any big reading plans over the weekend, please tell me what they are below. And make sure you do all those other nice things that you can do on YouTube, like this video, subscribe, share this video so I can hear what everybody's books that they're reading are. Yeah, that sentence sort of, sort of made sense. Whatever. I had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> I hope you have a good Friday and a better weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.